Charles's succession to the throne still a long way off as Queen as devoted as ever with her role. A royal expert has revealed that the Queen is devoted to carrying out her duties as monarch despite recent health issues. Victoria Arbiter said that while the rest of the royal family, such as Prince William and Prince Charles, have taken more responsibilities lately, the Queen will not take a step back. The Queen was forced to cancel a number of official engagements earlier this year due to health concerns including a sprained back. The 95-year-old monarch was unable to attend the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph and did not attend the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow. Royal expert Victoria told Australia's Nine Honey, subtle in nature, the changes have been all but imperceptible to the public but each has been implemented in an effort to relieve the burden on an aging monarch and to ensure a smooth eventual transition from mother to son. In the wake of Prince Philip's death, however, many wondered if she'd consider taking a more significant step back. But rather than opting to formally retire, it's become readily apparent she remains as devoted to her role as ever. According to the Mirror, Victoria said that the Queen's first public appearance after husband Prince Philip's death at the state opening of Parliament highlighted her devastating loss. Despite suffering health issues over the past few months, the Queen is said to be feeling much better and plans to host the family at Sandringham over the Christmas period as normal. The monarch reportedly told members of the family that she is looking forward to the family's annual festive gathering. Ms. Arbiter told Australia's Nine Honey, subtle in nature, the changes have been all but imperceptible to the public, but each has been implemented in an effort to relieve the burden on an aging monarch and to ensure a smooth eventual transition from mother to son. In the wake of Prince Philip's death, however, many wondered if she'd consider taking a more significant step back. But rather than opting to formally retire, it's become readily apparent she remains as devoted to her role as ever. The Queen has a busy few months ahead of her leading up to the Platinum Jubilee celebrations next year. The Queen reportedly made a trip to her Sandringham estate in Norfolk recently to make preparations for Christmas. The Queen is understood to be excited at the prospect of hosting Christmas for her family members in Norfolk again. A source told The Mirror, the Queen has told everyone she is feeling far better of late and is very much looking forward to welcoming them for Christmas. Like many other families, this will be the first time Her Majesty can gather with her extended family after being kept apart for so long due to the coronavirus pandemic. Then next year, a bumper bank holiday weekend is in store for the nation in June, with several celebratory events scheduled to mark the Platinum Jubilee. Thursday, June 2nd to Sunday June 5, 2022, will be a bank holiday, with the Queen's annual birthday parade, Trooping the Colour, scheduled to take place. On Saturday June 4, the Queen is expected to attend the Derby at Epsom Downs, along with several members of the royal family. And later that day, the BBC will host the Platinum Party at the Palace, a special live concert to mark the Queen's long reign.